Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel SK Educates. As promised before, I am back with this video related to keyword research technique. I showed the progress report of my new micro niche website in the previous video. The organic traffic of the website is consistently increasing. So in this video, I am going to show you how I do keyword research for SEO. There are various keyword research tools such as Ahrefs, SEMrush, Ubersuggest and more. These tools are handy, however, everyone can't afford to use them. But don't worry, because we have free tools available. I didn't use any of the premium keyword research tools, but still managed to increase the organic traffic. You can just use Google search and Google keyword planner to find golden keywords that can rank well. So let's explore five techniques to find useful keywords for your blog. And at the end of this video, I will show my technique to collect keywords and prepare outline of my content. So stay till the end. The first method is, if you haven't discovered any keyword for your niche, you can use a broad topic. For example, if you run a fitness blog, your broad topic could be fitness. Type this broad keyword in the Google search bar and you will see auto suggest drop down offering different keyword ideas you can use alphabets from a to z to find more opportunities the next technique is to type your known keyword and look for suggestions for example type fitness tracker watch and hit space once you do that google will automatically suggest different long-tailed keywords if you press space in the front of your keyword you will find more keywords. Again, you can use alphabets from A to Z to find more long tail keywords. Here you can see when I press B after fitness tracker watch, the Google shows fitness tracker watch with BP, fitness tracker watch benefits and so on. If you select fitness tracker watch with BP and press space, you will end up with more long tail keywords that have possibility to rank easily. Likewise, the third important technique is to find golden keywords from people also ask section. It can be found somewhere in the first page of Google SERP. For example, when you type fitness tracker Apple Watch and hit enter, you will find people also ask section. These questions are genuinely asked by the Google users, which you can write about and get ranked quickly. There are lots of questions asked by users once you click the question you will find more questions which means more opportunities to your blog content now the fourth important technique is to use related sources or more sources section it is located at the bottom of the SERP. you can find more keywords related to your search here just above that you get more questions recommendations from google and you can use all these questions in your blog content to rank easily that takes us to the fifth technique which is to use google keyword planner open google keyword planner and click on discover new keywords you have to select your target country and enter your broad topic and click get results you will see a list of related keywords along with your search volume competition and other metrics the competition shown here is for google ads bidding so don't rely on it just look for long tail keywords and you are good to go now that we have explored five awesome techniques to find keywords, let's collect keywords and create outline for our content. In this example, I am using does Apple watch work with Android. Once I source this keyword on Google, I can find different questions recommendations like how do I pair my Apple watch to my Samsung? Can you have an Apple watch without an iPhone? What watch works with Android and so on. Let's create a new document on Google Docs. The title of our article is Dodge Apple Watch Work with Android. Once we finalize our title, we can now search keywords for subheadings. Here you can see I have collected different long tail keywords related to our title using the five different techniques we discussed in the video. By using Google Search tab, people also ask section, related searches and others, I have collected S2 and S3 for my blog post. Searching S2 and S3 from Google sorts means you have a high possibility of ranking once you have completed this process you can now start writing quality and helpful content before writing content you can also read top three ranking
post in the Google and make your content more informative and factual so that you can outnumber others and get your website on top. So this is how I research keywords for my website and produce helpful content. If you have any questions, please do comment below. We will meet on our next video. Thank you for watching till the end.